We are the Greenham County Paranormal Society. Our members strive to help those in need of paranormal help. GCPS's mission is to answer the age-old question, do spirits walk among us? To give help and peace to those who seek it, to make the unseen seen, and to be the voice of those who cannot be heard. We deliver a free service to anyone in need. Come with us as we help the living and the dead. Some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Some call us ghost hunters, but we consider ourselves spirit seekers. We set out to get answers from beyond and help the spirits find answers and their way home. And we give the clients a peace of mind. Hello everybody, welcome back to Green County Paranormal. We are in Ashland, that's all I'm gonna tell you because this is a private residence. And we have a lot of claims. We're hoping for a lot. And uh, we're going to try to get everybody situated in this house. Spots unlike the other place is the cellar, the bathroom, and the master bedroom. And um, we're here as uh, one of our first clients that we've ever done. The last investigation is a relative to this client. We've already had massive experiences. <laughs> Hello, my name is Angie and I'm GCPS's case manager. On the claims of the things heard, they have heard voices calling of her name, strange sounds and growls, tapping and knocking. The client's son has heard numerous call her, her voice called to him. And then the client has heard her son and a female friend answer her on questions. She actually come in one day and said, is anyone here? The female friend said, yes. Two hours later, the female friend answered the door and she was here all alone, but it was that female's voice. The client has heard two different male voices throughout the house. The son has, whenever he heard, the son had actually heard his mom call out to him. However, the mother didn't say anything. They've heard footsteps in the attic area, especially like running up and down the steps as if the spirit was in a hurry. Sounds also have been heard in the kitchen and dining room area. The kitchen and throughout the living room areas are designed like an open floor plan and can be seen from each room. On physical happenings, they have experienced touch, they have experienced touching and hair on their body has stood on end, unexplained odors and doors opening. The client has experienced being pushed in the attic, but not the male, only the female. The client has been touched on her face like a loving pat and rubbed down her cheek like this. Uh, and this was on the couch in the living room. She has had her hair on her arms and neck stand on end, mostly in the kitchen area. It felt like a shiver down her spine as the phrase goes, someone walking on her grave. She has smelled an odor of men's cologne and her son does not wear cologne. She has also caught a whiff of her granddad's hair pomade. The attic door would open by itself along with the sound of the dog being jiggled. Um, on the things seen, they have seen shadow figures and glimpses from the corner of their eyesight. She has seen a male figure, shadow top, standing in the kitchen area behind the half wall area. She saw this apparition straight on also. She stated the figure will look around and then disappear quickly. She has seen it in the corner of her eye as well. I know why it's moving. I don't know what was moving there, but when it's zoomed in, as you're moving, 
my lens is moving to follow you. Yeah. So whatever was there that we didn't see, oh, it was following it. Yes. Because as I zoomed gotcha. out, it quit. But That's when I'm zoomed, it's moving. Watch. Yeah. Okay. Something so was over to, there. Let's try to focus on something. Ooh, I got as you move like you're rocking, it's going with you. Uh-huh. Um, he went by Jeep. As people may watch us, we did her mother's house a couple weeks ago. And we did find out that he is protecting Ruth. Uh, and another person she was close to was an uncle, and he went by ER. So now they can see better than ow. Ow. Turn the light out for a minute. Hold on. Oh, there we go. Okay, I'm going to turn off the flash shot. That's how dark it is. That is very dark. I can't even see my hand in front of my face. Nope. And without this light, we won't be able to see nothing. Or oh, shoot, with the light, I'm still tripping over stuff. I come up here and put the recorder. I thought I saw you over here. Can you show yourself? I'm gonna actually talk. I want you to repeat it. When I count to three. One, two, three. Did you hear it? I heard something over here. I didn't know which direction, but it come this way. My phone. It looks like snow. ADD moment. My phone keeps blurring. Normally, when your phone or your camera blurs, something speaking, we're getting in front of you. Yeah. And use your energies to make words. I saw the other night they were using it on the, the syllables. Oh, the phonetic. Uh, phonetic. Yeah. Yes. Phonetics. You said listen. Oh, did you hear it? Heard pop up. Yeah, a footstep. Whoa. <laughs> okay. The obelisk just said listen. And right beside me, right in this area, we heard footstep. Hill to toe. Let me separate them. Ooh, there was a deep voice. What's your name? Pete. Pete. What off? Well, I'm Steve. I'm Jeff. Hi, Pete. Nice to meet you. Hey. How old are you, Pete? Over here around some of this stuff. Are you moving over here around some of this stuff? Did you live in this house at one time? Steve, would you step in here with me for our personals? Because me and him both kind of was together on this. Oh, yeah. Um, wait. I think I just turned it off. <laughs> yeah. Technology is not her friend. <laughs> I said that about you earlier. She said she is not Teco Salty. I'm not. Uh, no. No, uh, it battery went dead. Oh. Okay. Was that the one that keeps draining? Yeah. Wow. Okay, we'll get you here. You mean plug it up? I can plug it up right there behind you. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, we'll, well get I'll you. Take 15,000. All right, uh, Steve, we lose upstairs. What was the names we got? Uh, Pete, Ruth, Les, and Les. And one more. It said our names. It said uh, our names, yeah. It said Jeff several times. It said uh, Debbie. Mm-hmm. 
Billy. Billy, yeah. So I don't know how many spirits are here, if all of them are here, or if some of them are blurts. But we're thinking six. We had footsteps. I did this. Yeah, we had, first there was movement behind Jeff. I was filming one way, he's trying to set up equipment. And he had heard it, well I heard it a little bit, but he had heard it a lot. Um, and like immediately we heard hill to toe, and then whatever you experienced with that tree thing. You know, there's a shiny tree on one end, uh, it's like a Christmas ornament. And I had to, I was filming it, and the sparklies just came across it, kind of went out and came on like something stepped in front of it, walked across it. I don't know if that was paranormal or just normal, abnormal, but it, it did happen. And that was her sister. And I saw a shadow over in the corner. And the weird thing is about the shadow, I thought, okay, it was the light. However, Tammy's running the camera with the women only, and she sees, keeps seeing something peeking out. So maybe that's something to do with what I experienced. Up in the attic, um, in the same place some gentlemen went in, because I wanted to do a women versus men because of the claims. Um, <laughs> but uh, we had uh, Tammy do a camera around, just trying to give her a feel of some of the equipment. And she, as I said, is there something hiding back here in the corner? Something kept peeping, like he was playing peek-a-boo peek around the corner. Like, are you still here? Okay, you're still here, so I'm gonna wait. And then, are you still here? So, um, we started asking questions. Um, we asked it to knock, and she heard a knock. The guys downstairs heard a knock. Um, we asked for names, it said my name. And then, we asked uh, who all was there. Um, we've got Debbie, Debbie. with ours. Um, we did get Pete. Yeah, we got Mike or Mark. I couldn't figure it out because it was a M and a K, so it was kind of in between both of them. We do know that there is a gentleman that's roaming around here. We don't know if he stays, comes and goes, whatever, because we didn't get a clear answer because I said even if you don't stay all the time, maybe you're from you know the local cemetery area and you're just kind of coming in and going. Uh, and then some of them know that we're here, so they kind of come just to talk and get their story. But one of them's here. Um, he died because he was shot and um, then he's wanting gone I and mean, you know he wants to leave he wants, this, he wants to leave this realm so I told him to wait till the end that we was doing a blessing crossover staging slash 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 event so uh, she had to listen up in so she may have experienced and then she had another experience earlier I heard the knocks on the listen up that was verified uh, well to the listen up but I I've got, I don't know, it's what it's called, an inner ear, or inner eye, rather. Seer. I don't know what it's called. It's called a seer. Seer, okay. I closed my eyes to take a nap, and uh, I uh, saw this woman. She had gray hair, and it was pulled back in a bun. Five, seven, five, eight, something like that. How many are up here besides us three? How many are up here besides us three? Have you seen others? Ever. Have you seen others in the spirit realm? I heard footsteps. And there. Uh, I think I heard one knock. I think you said two. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny because Angie counted and all that. And on the listen up, I heard dunk, dunk, and I thought it was footsteps. Have you seen others? Ever. Have you seen others in the spirit realm? I heard footsteps. And uh, I 
Or did you say Matt? Oh. <laughs> God. I've ran into everything today. Yes, I know. Don't call me down. <laughs> Office just calling me down. I've literally, anything and everything I can run into, I have. Okay, so, uh, Tammy, I think it's safe to say that your video being blurred is not because of a light. Every time I film this way, my oh, video's blurred. You getting it over there, too? Oh, yeah. 750 degrees. 750? Yeah, it's working up this now. What the heck? 856. 398. No joke, people. This is what readings he's getting on a tree. 750 degrees on a tree when it's 56 degrees in and this I got nothing. Got no at all now. Let me see it a minute. Oh. What? Battery. It's a 9 volt. Yeah. Ow. NWP. Anybody watching? Okay, there's somebody watching. Okay, here's what we're... All right, this is Karen in the room, and I'm in isolation. Can you tell, tell me what spirits come into this room? Do the spirits that are upstairs in the attic come down here? Or are they just stuck in the attic? Is there any spirits here that are afraid? Did you live in this area or in this house? Do you always stay here? Or just move around to different places? Do you like the fact that we're out here talking to you? Maybe that's why you make the noises you have made and been seen so somebody can put your voice on a, some of the equipment. All right, I'm up here by myself. Everybody's on the other side of the house downstairs. What did you move over here? Is there a child that's up here? No. Can you do that again? Well, thank you. Do it one more time loud. Do this.
I don't know if y'all can hear that. There's knocking over here in the corner. I'm going to ask a couple questions and play it back on here. Who was the person that was knocking just a minute ago? Why do you keep hiding in this corner? Why do you stay up here? And who is the person that was knocking just a minute ago? Why do you keep hiding in this corner? Why do you keep hiding? Listen. Why do you keep hiding? Some breathing. Is there a shadow person back there? Are you hiding? Add it this. You don't have to hide from me. No one's scared. I had a steady point five on the millimeter. It's cold. Oracle. I have no idea what you said. It's like it's a mirror thing. Okay, for the fans, I'm Angie, by the way. I'm doing my isolation. Uh, one of our new investigators, she's not done one before, so she's just kind of sitting back and just seeing how it's done. Everybody is drawn to that back corner. Can you tell me what your name is? Sharon. You've gotten stronger since we've been up here lately, haven't you? We're getting ready to do a crossover session. So if you're ready to move on, we'd be more than happy to help you with that. Is that something that you still want? Do you have a message that you want to relay us to relay to somebody? You know, you don't have to hide from us. You, you're not. Well, we we're happy to communicate with you. Our phone's shutting off for absolutely no reason. Battery's, Battery's dying. They're brand new. Awesome. We just put them in. Came out of the package. Died. We'll let you know what EVPs we get later. Yeah, Before our shut off. EVP and everything will be cast, uh, posted. But thank you. We're going to sign off live. Everything else will be on the YouTube video. So we love you. And God love bless you. you. And keep watching. <laughs>
I don't feel going up for the first time I went up there because there was a piece of wood laying in one of the steps. Okay. One of the steps broke off of her. Oh, you know, I bet that top. Yeah. That's what I was supposed to find. Can you do that again?